Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our product title is a novel step-up multi-input DC-to-DC converter for hybrid electric vehicles application. Next we see about abstract of our product. Renewable energy is generally defined as energy that is collected from resources which are naturally replenished on a human time scale such as sunlight, wind, rain, tidals, waves and geothermal heat. Renewable energy often provides energy in four important areas electricity generation, air and water, heating, cooling, transportation and rural energy services. In this proposed work is designed a multi-input DC boost converter using neural network controller. The converter has the capability of providing the demand power by load in absence of one or more resources. Moreover, power management strategy is described and applied in control method. The input sources are PV module, battery and fuel cells. These three sources are connected in series which is fed to a boost converter with load. The converter switches are controlled by neural network controller. Using of neural network controller we achieve a high efficiency, less switching stress and also some parameters. This approach include two categories of controlling such as open and closed loop control. This implementation is done in MATLAB simulating environment. Next we see about flow diagram of our product. This is our flow diagram. In this flow diagram consists of three input sources and one controller section and another one the conversion section that is called DC to DC converter and that converted supply is fed into the corresponding load. In the MATLAB simulating uh, the PV module is generated by the simulating tools. First of all the PV module generation is nothing but the various solar sources are arranged in a manner and then uh, the irradiance is given to that solar cell corresponding the solar cell generate the electrical signal. That electrical signal is fed into the controlled voltage source. That voltage source deliver the corresponding DC voltage and uh, first one is a solar source, second one is battery source, third one is fuel cell source. Solar cell is nothing but in the design consists three input sources and uh, first one is the solar source. The sun is probability the most important source of renewable energy available today. Traditionally, the sun gas provided energy for practically all living creatures on earth. Through the process of photosynthesis in which plants absorb solar radiation and convert it into stored energy for growth and development. That technique is implemented in the PV module photovoltaic systems and the next one is battery source an electric battery is a device consisting of one or more electrochemical cells with the external connection provided to power electrical devices such as flashlights smartphones and electric cores when a battery in supplying electric power its positive terminal is the cathode and its negative terminal is the anode the terminal marked negative is the source of electrons that when connected to an external circuit will flow and deliver energy to an external device. When a battery is connected to an external circuit, electrolytes are able to move as ions within the allowing the chemical reaction to be completed at the separate terminals. Next source is a fuel cell source. Fuel cell source is nothing but is a global fuel cell energy. It develops and operates cell fuel power plants. Direct fuel power plants is nothing but a type of molten carbonate fuel cells. To electromechanically produce electricity and heat from the range of basic fuel materials including natural gas and coal etc. Next module is a DC to DC converter module. In 
DC to DC converter module that sources is converted is uh, fed into the load and the DC voltage level is low so uh, using boost converter the corresponding input DC supply is boosted in a certain level and in the DC to DC converter uh, that boost converter using IGBT switches that IGBT switches control signal is generated in the neural network controller the neural network controller is the emerging controller to pro provide the control signal to the IGBT switches and it reduce the harmonics and switching losses and switching stress so overall efficiency will be increased due to the using of neural network controller next we see about running process of our product in this proposed work is done in matlab simulating environment this version is 2013 version first we open the matlab window now the matlab window will be open then the corresponding module will be created now new module is created like this and the various simulating elements are there in the simulating library browser so if you want what your requirement elements so that elements are showing here so if you want that element so track and <laughs> to hold in the corresponding new model window so as per the circuit diagram we designed the simulating elements then the overall circuit will be designed after that we click the simulation run simulation icon then click the whole process will be start to run the corresponding output will be displayed in the corresponding scopes and this is the first one the DC solar voltage and the next one the battery voltage this getting from the battery and next one fuel cell voltage and overall voltage is around uh, 40 plus 10 plus 454 volt the voltage will be boosted up into 73 voltage so this is the output current uh, the output current value is 0.73 because of the load resistance value is 10 ohms so the current value is dropping and next this is the output voltage waveform the output voltage level is 73 so the constant voltage can be obtained using of this neural network controller technique so the overall process will be high efficient compared to the other controller technique thank you